Um, we have Muhammad from Pakistan. I have a question. I, I'm married and I need to give you a quick uh, background of my situation so you can have a better idea and to understand my situation as well. Like, I married in 2015 in Australia and I have two kids, alhamdulillah. And I, I took really, I was, uh, I took responsibility as a, as a husband and father, including caring of my four stepchildren as well. But um, something happened. I wasn't on permanent visa, so I had to return back to my home country, which is Pakistan, in 2018. And ever since, our relationship really has suffered a lot. I mean, we are at the point we are we are no longer communicating with each other. And um, she has a point because I'm no longer providing for my family anymore. Although I'm trying hard, I'm educating myself to up upskill myself so I can able to earn in dollars, not in my local currency to help my family, but I think it's too late now. So to the point, I need your guidance, like, because she really wants to move on now, and I really don't want her to take any step which is against, to, which goes against Allah. Um, I need your guidance. What type of divorce it will be? Is it, is it considered to be khula or me granting her the divorce? And okay. Basically speaking, Akhi, due to the fact that you're unable to provide for her and for her children, this is a deficiency in you. And hence, you have to give her divorce if she's asking for it because it's your fault for not providing for her and for her children. She's not obliged to file for khula and give you back the dowry because there's no fault from her side. She waited patiently from 2018 or whatever until date and you have not managed to change any things. So you should give her a divorce and if you refuse to do this, you'll be sinful, yet she can still go to the Islamic Center and file for annulment of the marriage due to her absence and failure to provide for her and the Muslim judge can do that and Allah knows best.